Hey, welcome back to Strode's Bar between Deli and Bradford. Talk from the KX20 Rod, and here's Mitch. That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. What's your name? <laughs> uh, this is our, we're going to call it the Yellowstone edition of What's Top Smoking. Ooh, like so that. pay attention carefully, and Mitch, you will take you to the train station. It's actually here in Bradford. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's on the agenda, my friend? All right, so. Uh, something really fun that I've done at home, and I want to share this with you guys. This uh, is going to be like a whole thing. I'm making a sandwich, but not just any sandwich. All right. I'm going to do a whole beef sandwich. Very easy, though. So I want to feed a small group of people. There's only three of us at home, so I don't need a whole big roast to do a nice cold beef. What I've done here is I've just taken a nice sirloin steak. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I just took a lot of the fat off just because of... Um, I want to cook this quicker. So we got our steak and we've got our spice. So the smoke show. Explain that. It's I saw jalapenos in there. So we got uh, the smoke show brand of spices and sauces here in the store. Oh, they yeah. are a fantastic flavor. They start all of their bases with a smoked jalapeno. Now it's not crazy hot. There is some different levels of heat throughout the different sauces and rubs. Oh, chihuahua. Yeah. So this has got just a really nice flavor and uh, goes great on the beef. All right. So all I'm going to do is just give that a good seasoning rate, like so, and squeeze the pig while I'm doing it. Okay, so uh, one side done, we're going to season both sides, correct? Absolutely. Let's get some flavor on there. Now you see there's different levels of heat, so you can get something pretty smoking hot. Well, so the smoke show has got a few varieties. This okay. is the original, and it's just got a little bit. So they've got uh, the smoked jalapeno there on the bottom is the label. And when you get into the other blends, they've got their, uh, their jerk seasoning, which obviously has a lot more heat. So, so once that's seasoned, we're just going to put that right into a pan of beef stock. Beef stock. That's a nice beef juice there that we have here at our store. Uh, you can use any type of liquid for this. It doesn't have to be a beef stock. You can use beer, whiskey, wine, pop, juice, water, whatever you like. Okay, so the beef juice, just as it is, but you can put in some booze if you want. You can. You can put it in. Yeah, All right, absolutely. let's go. I like it. So uh, two ways to do this. One, slow and low. Run in two and a quarter. Right. You're going to be about uh, you're going to be about four or five hours to get that to a good cooling temperature. The other thing to do is turn that up. Okay. I can do that at uh, 350 for two hours, and that beef is just going to pull apart real nice. Sweet. Now, um, what I did want to just back on the hair. Uh, do, how long do we let it sit in here? It can go right from here. Hey, go right in. Go. Right okay. in and go. Perfect. Okay. I think we're ready for the smoke first. Let's have some fun. It's a chilly outside, obviously, it's Strode's Barbecue in Delhi, beautiful day, and uh, we're about to put sirloin onto the smoker. And then again, if you're just joining us here, why didn't you come to the beginning of the video? This is uh, just beef juice. This is just beef juice. We can use any type of liquid you want, any type of flavor, but we're going to keep it nice and simple. Beautiful. Uh, two and a quarter and particular pellets. Your choice? Your uh, dealer's choice. Any type of beef pellets or that you like. Any type of wood that you want. You Jack want Daniel to... pellets? Oh, heck. My yeah, man. I love Mr. Jack Daniel. They are awesome. Okay. How good does that So the, the key here is to get 200 degrees internally. That's your best pulling temperature for any meat. All right. Okay, okay. let's take the meat front. Back at 403, Fairview Drive, Brantford, Strode's Barbecue and Deli, Mitch, Todd. Hey, and Brian. And Brian, me? I do remember Look you. Look what else Strode's has. What is that? It's a fillet of salmon. We were just at the Grand River last night behind the dump, just doing some serious fishing. We got some beauty fillets. Look at that. that Available at Strode's. Barbecue and Deli, 403. What? Fairview Drive. So you, they know where they're going. That's awesome. Can we take him to the train station later? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to need him. Okay, no train station. You couldn't be mad. <laughs> okay, Mitch, uh, let's make this happen. I see we got a few different things here on the table. Obviously, the meat is ready to go. What's the game plan? Uh, so, <clears throat> keeping in uh, that smoke show category, yep. uh, I've got the aioli as well here. So, what we're going to do is uh, make a slaw to go on our beef sandwich. Now, I like it. One of the things with barbecue is sometimes things don't always work out. Sometimes it takes a little bit of practice. Sometimes it's just something's happened and you can't. So you have a plan B. I got a plan B. So right. my, uh, my original plan A was doing a pulled beef with steaks. Now I made a mistake. 
but not covering that beef. I got a little sidetracked during the day. Wasn't thinking. They are and, human here. It's true. Who knows? Right? So, so by a plan B, what we're going to do we is do a sliced beef. Your desk. <laughs> well, unfortunately, he signs the checks. So I, I don't do any signs. And here. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so that's my dad. So that's your dad. Real nice, normal person, right? <laughs> no, my dad was chicken. Not the guy holding the chicken. Oh, I see. It's like a Muppet show. You really don't see the human. Exactly. Exactly. All right, man. Where were we? Okay, so we're going to make a slaw. So, yeah. So we're going to go plan B. We're going to go to a slice instead of okay. cold. I know I said cold, but uh, that was my fault. All good, man. Uh, we're going to make a slaw. So we got ourselves some cabbage, a little bit of carrots. And some red cabbage as well. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of mustard, toss that in there. We're gonna go to that smoke show aioli. French is mustard, by the way. That's Canadian. Absolutely, friggin' loose. There's no other kind. We're gonna add that smoke show aioli. And you know what? It's got a really nice flavor. That's gonna give a good creaminess to it. And then with some magic sauce, cider vinegar, buddy. Ooh. We'll put a little bit of that in there. It's actually yummy. When you're not. Give it a good mix. I do believe it. I do believe it. So mix that up. Good consistency on there. You smell that vinegar. It's going to give you a nice tang. You got a good creaminess with that smoke show in there. Speaking of smoke show, I'm just waiting for your dad to come back with something else on his hand. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's got the ability to. Oh, speaking of Brian, here he comes around the corner. All right, it's just Brian. It's just me. It's just okay. me. That's much. I want to see the outcome of this. All right. So I'm just going to take the steak. So there's two ways to do that, obviously, Mitch. One is slice it really thin, and the other is to uh, cook it just a little longer and pull it all and make a nice pulled uh, steak sandwich. Absolutely. It's so good. With your homemade, uh, this is his homemade coleslaw. What kind of bread are we using here, gentlemen? Just a nice ciabatta bun. Ciabatta. Ciabatta. I love ciabatta can, in Star Wars. Can, that was my favorite. You look a little like. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of like. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Add a little there. The uh -oh. Simple, simple, easy backyard smoking fun. And what's delicious. top smoking? That's what we're smoking. Right you did there. a tomahawk recently. You uh, had great success with you and Heather. Honestly, the tomahawk steak from Strokes, easy peasy, and they're phenomenal. Still only $18.99. My my suppliers, my farmers, 21 years have still not put their prices up. What do I say? It's worth the trip. Oh, yes. Strode Barbecue and Deli and Brand. 403 Fairview Drive. Three years. We're getting there. All right. Um, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheer for the Packers. <laughs> yes. Good idea. The Aaron Rodgers Packers. Yes. Hoorah. All you need is love. Jordan Love, baby. We'll see how that Jordan works. Love. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in to What's Top Smoking. Joe's Barbecue in Delhi, Brantford. Worth the trip. We'll see you next time.